the Skunk Works operated out of Burbank and has operated out of Burbank all the way back to the P-38, to the U-2, to the SR-71, to F-117. All of them have been built there and um, down in beautiful downtown Burbank inside a big old World War II hangar. The airplanes were uh, assembled there. Then they were the wings were taken off of them, and in the case of the F-117, they flew a C-5, which is the Air Force's huge cargo airplane. They'd, they'd fly it in in the middle of the night, and they would take the phone calls for the noise abatement because there's always somebody in the neighborhood who didn't like the noise, but it only happened every now and then, so we kind of disregarded it. But anyway, they would uh, make a, a box frame out of wood, two-by-fours, and drape a tarp over it so it would not show any part of the shape of the airplane whatsoever. And they put it on wheels, and they would wheel it out, put it in the C-5, and then they would fly it off to where we would test the airplane. And uh, it was reassembled and then tested at, at a remote location. And that was done, uh, in fact, back in the SR-71 days, uh, they didn't have a C-5A to transport that around, so they developed a false front, if you will, for a truck line. Lockheed had a trucking company that was named some weird name, and it was on the back of those trucks that they hauled the, the SR-71 fuselage and wings to the, to the test location.